What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sky Life Projects. Hope y'all doing good and staying blessed. Today is a Saturday and I got another video for you guys. Got a special guest that's gonna come in the frame here. But today we're going to be installing the Mishimoto reinforced wrinkle red coolant reservoir tank. So I'm gonna put that in. I have my homie uh, Chase right here. What's up guys? All right, and he's got a uh, black Type R 2018, right? Yep. Um, he's got a 27 one intercore, whole bunch of different mods. So yep. We'll save that for another video. But if you guys could please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll always be alerted for future uploads like this. All right, and just want to show you the Type R engine bay and where the new tank is going so give me a moment i'm gonna get that box on box it for you guys and then we'll get this video started much love all right got the mishimoto here and this is the wrinkle red coolant reservoir chase actually has one too with his black type bar but he went black obviously to match more of that theme so i went red he went black all right let's go this is the unboxing honestly it comes really packaged well there we go let's get a close-up so what does that say chase one 1.3 bar, 3 bar 19, 19 pounds. pounds. So it comes with a called, um, radiator cap, or I mean, we call it, man, the yeah. high high pressure yeah. cooling cap. Okay, that works. and then it's got looks like a little hose line there that connects. Yeah, wrinkle red. It's gonna look good. See what it looks like real quick, Chase. So maybe like that. So we're gonna get to unbolting this, and the car is the car is cool. So, you guys, the car is cool. It's not hot. It's not dangerous. It's been cooling all overnight. Before we do this, I do not recommend ever doing it when the car is at you know an exceeding hot temperature, or actually even warm at most cases, because that will spew right out at you. So, I don't know about this car. I haven't done it yet, obviously, but for other vehicles, yeah. It happens. So, all right, I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Much love. All right, guys, welcome back. We're just um, siphoning the coolant out of the stock reservoir plastic casing. We have, you know, cloths down and everything. Got a siphon tool. He's using this. Uh, we are doing this method because we didn't want to remove the under tray as we have a broken jack unfortunately so therefore we're doing it this way it is going to take some more time but honestly chase you would have to say it's a lot safer right yeah yeah you know and, you don't um, have to get up on jack stands. you don't have to get it up on jack stands or anything so it does take time i'm obviously you know going to get this done as soon as possible but it is what it is we want to do it right right so the first time got to get it done correctly but yeah i'll let you guys know when we are ready to remove the plastic reservoir tank all right so don't go anywhere 
I'll keep you guys updated and posted, of course. Much love and blessings. I'll be right back. All right. So we're just setting up the rags right now. We already removed the two 10 millimeter bolts that attach the plastic, whatever you call it, reservoir down. Yeah. Okay. So here's going to be the tricky part, you guys. You see this down here? See where I'm pointing? That clamp, as you can see, we have vice gripped. We're going to vice grip that one too to stop the pressure from obviously the coolant leaking all down the engine bay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's going to be honestly the challenging part. And yeah, we routed this over here a little bit because we saw that it was rubbing on one little side. Right, Chase? Yep. It's rubbing a little bit. Yeah, so it's a common problem with the PRL. I checked out the way Chase routed it. You guys already did it before, but for some reason it was still rubbing. It was still bouncing up. So what we did is we took this entire valve cover off, right? And we zip tied it right here so it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't move. The zip tie is preventing it from moving up and down. So, wow, Chase, that was some home modification right there, huh? <laughs> zip tie. Shit, <laughs> Jesus. That's dope. Now it doesn't move. Obviously it's not rubbing anymore, you guys. So I recommend that. Um, it wasn't really fun though. So. <laughs> a lot of bolts. <laughs> a lot of bolts. Um, anyways, you guys, so we're gonna get this part done. I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, Chase has got the stock plastic ass Honda reservoir right there. Here is the brand new Mishimoto. And yeah, it wasn't wasn't that bad, right, Chase? No, I mean, it, yeah, it takes some strength, right, yeah. to remove. Yep, a little bit of leverage. I mean, it takes a little bit of courage, but we did use a flathead to relieve some of the pressure on the silicone hose. Mm -hmm. Honestly, guys, I wouldn't have done it with because the, the camera would be shaking, you know? <laughs> So that's why you don't see it on film, but it's pretty self-explanatory mm -hmm. and um, we're going to keep it on film to put this on. So, all right, Chase, let's remove that. Unless you want to hold the camera, bro. You call it, bro. Totally up to you, man. All right. I'll do other cameras since it's out of your car. Yeah. I'll swap these spots. All right. So the trick is. Yeah, no, we didn't lose a lot, huh? For no, sure. there was not a lot at all. So I would say the trick is, it goes like that, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And then the clamp is all the way down there. Yep. Good. Okay. I see. Makes sense. All right. Now, right there. All right, it's all the way in. Show them real quick. Mm. There she is. There she is. All right, so now we can take this off. Yes. Um, grab that one. Good idea, dude. Really good idea to do that. I agree with you. Well, I agree with everything you're doing so far. I'm just saying <laughs> that was some extra stuff, you know? Sometimes stuff just works, you know? <laughs> can you go to all that shit? Yep. I was showing real quick that there's no cooling anywhere in the middle. Yeah. We covered it up. You guys, we're doing some professional stuff right here, man. It may not look like it, but honestly, we didn't have any, not one, any coolant leakage at all. We got a little bit on the gloves. That's it. Nothing on the engine bay. You know what I mean? So looks like it goes like that. Yeah. You want to um, bring the hose clamp back up on that? Oh, guy? yeah. We got to do that. All right. Let me see it. You got that, bro? Yeah. You guys see it? All right. I'm just trying to get it focused. Come on. A bit more. And uh, for everybody who's wondering, yes, it's about 104 degrees outside right now, according to the GoPro. Okay, can you hold that? Yeah. All right, just give me. God. Got all of those clamps. <laughs> That'll do it. 
And this is a strong clamp, brother. There you go. Come on. I don't know how many clamps I've done on this car, and I can't get this one. Mm. See, try, bro. Yeah. Yeah, this one's being a little bitch. Looks like you got it, yep. How's that? Flip a little more. Alright. You think? Yeah, we can go a little bit more. Yeah. Right there? I would say that's good. Oh, shit, I kind of ended up where I was. Just don't have a diagonal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How's that? There work? you go. Let's see you guys. I mean, can you focus right now? I'm trying to get a fairy go. Just focus. This is good. Look at that. <laughs> you guys can clearly see it's on there. Okay. All right. Boom. Um, that's it. Now yep. we just mount it. The hose. Yeah. That hose. Grab that hose. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a grommet on the bottom side too. Screwdriver. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, yeah, there's also a grip on there. Um, Chase is just gonna put it on real quick. I guess with the grip on. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah and then I would say um, face it sideways yep just turn it to the left or either left or right I'd say left bro because it's it yeah there you go because we don't want it hitting anything you know yeah. what I'm saying just in case come on let's go there you go it's not that bad of an install dude bro, it's honest honestly it's not pretty nice this took that took more time this, than this yeah. you feel me? Like you guys, the only thing that's like, I would say time consuming is siphoning yeah. the, the cool, the coolant out, yep. you know what I mean? So obviously we're going to fill it back up. We got, can you get the coolant real quick? Yep. Me, me. Oh. Chase is my assistant too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, we got the strut bar off too. We have to put that back on. But yeah, there it is right there. Extended life antifreeze coolant type two Honda from Honda. So it's yeah. a OEM type R coolant. OEM type R coolant. 50-50, right? 50-50 mix. 50-50 mix. Pre-mixed, don't add. Pre-mixed. Okay. So now just pop it back in the grommet down there, and then yep. we're good to go. Just like the um, the HVI. Yeah. URL. Maybe if it wants to go in. good, there. man. All right. Got it? Yes. Yeah, you want to pop it on? Yeah, hold that. Why don't you use the force? <laughs> oh, I got, I got some silicone lube too. We can pop on there if you want. Here you go. I got it, bro. Oh, you got it on? Yeah. Right? I don't know. Well, it looks, it still feels. I think it was pretty in there. Like, uh, is that tabbed on the bottom? So, if you look right here, there it is. Oh. oh okay. So yeah. it's not a, it's not no, a, it's not a, it's not tapered. tapered. Okay. So yeah, we dude, can just bolt it back it. in and then yeah. we're good. That's All right, cool. Uh, no. Man, this car is pretty fun to work on sometimes. Dude. I know, right? Sometimes, Some, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it just works. Sometimes it just works. I like when it just works. Uh, you guys. I do, um, I do recommend though having an assistant just in case, like, cause you need somebody to have the vice grips. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody to, um, you know, loosen the clamps at the same time, put the thing in the grommet. So it's like always good to have assistance. You guys want to do it yourself? That's cool, but anything can go wrong. You know what I'm saying? So plus, it's more fun. At the end of the day, Chase, appreciate your help. Of course, man. Just in case, you know. And just, you guys, this is not a hard install to be honest with you um the intake is honestly eight times harder so yeah it is on um we're just going to obviously tighten it up i guess we could just fill it right now right yeah, probably tighten it down just make sure yeah. you squid away and then yeah pop it i'd on. say that so we'll just tighten it down and um all right you guys i'm coming in the frame in a sec i just want to show you the the coolant here and we're doing the last part before we end the video uh, we got the what do you call it the 10,000 lumen light thing with the little mini switch shut off thing 
Anyways, he's using that so he can measure the level of coolant. So here we go. You can see it, right, Chase? Up, slow down. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is, like I said, it's 104 degrees out here, but appreciate Chase for appearing in the video. I will throw his IG up right now, right there. And of course, you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, wanna say hi, say, hey, what's up, Jay? Hey, what's up, Chase? Put it down in the comments. I appreciate it. Until next time, guys, this is Sky Life Projects, and we signing out. Much love. Balls out, royalties in my team. Only things we talk about, money coming in. Faster than it's ever been, like Cali. All we do is win. Posted in the valley. Cash moves everything around me. Like a money pull, you see me drowning. System in the trunk, bump bitches like the way you be sounding. Fill my cup up for the ones.